Hi, welcome to the Bookends YouTube channel. As you can see, I'm by myself. Bookends is isolating itself for COVID-19, and while I'm in the office, everybody else is working from home, remotely, staying safe, and staying isolated, and I hope you are too. COVID-19 is exactly what I want to talk to you about right now. Writing is hard, and it's a creative process. In times of upheaval, like we're in now, it can be very difficult to find your words, to keep your thoughts straight, and to put it on paper and to feel creative. And I want you to know that it's okay. We're all struggling right now. We're all a little all over the place sometimes, finding it difficult to focus. In fact, right now, I should be working on reading a proposal for a client, and I'm going to need to give it another day, because to give it my full attention, I need to be in the right headspace. And on this first day of isolation for the office, when everybody's working at home, I don't quite have it yet. There are a few steps I want to talk to you about when it comes to writing in this time or in times of difficulty or upheaval at all. Often we call it writer's block, right? But I don't know necessarily if you're blocked, you might just be stuck a little bit. One of the things, number one, I want to suggest to you is just keep writing. It doesn't have to be your novel. It doesn't have to be your proposal. It doesn't have to be whatever you're supposed to be writing. Just write. Get a journal if you don't already have one. Write down your thoughts, your feelings, your concerns, your anxieties, your joys, your gratitudes. Write it all down. I find for myself, and I hear from a lot of others, that just writing anything can open that door. It can open that door to creativity. It can get you into a centered space where you feel better about writing. My second tip is let the book go. It's tricky if you're under dead deadline, and I understand that. But if you're not, what you may find is in these times, what you were writing and what you planned on write and the book you were in the middle of might not be working. Maybe you were writing an apocalyptic book and suddenly it feels far too real. Maybe you were writing something happy and jazzy and funny and silly and suddenly you just can't find that place. That's okay. Start something fresh. Start something that follows along the lines of what you need right now. If you need funny, write funny. If you don't feel you can write funny, write dark. I saw uh, somebody tweet recently that um, she was writing a crowd scene and it felt so wrong because we're not supposed to be in crowds. And then she had to remind herself that this is fiction. And in her fictional world right now, crowds are allowed. That's great. Do what you have to do to just write. And it's okay to walk away from what you are writing. You might come back, you might not, but just find something to write. My third tip is get off social media. That includes YouTube if it's too much. We all get in there, we're looking for more information, we want news, we want details, but then we become overwhelmed, we become depressed, it becomes anxiety inducing. It is not always the best place to be. Find a time, if you need to be on there, if it's the place where you find you get the best news, if you need to connect with people, do so, but set some limits. You know, pick a time each day or two times each day when you'll go on, set a timer and get off. I think that is really something we could all do, maybe all the time, but it's worth trying for right now. Uh, get outside. We have to social distance, but there is a lot out there that we can distance ourselves from easily. Right now here, it's beautiful and sunny out, and at some point, I'm going to take some time to go on a walk. It's unlikely I'll run into anybody, so that works fine. If you have a dog, take the dog with you. They will love it. Go outside, get some fresh air, remind yourself of on a beautiful day like this, it is beautiful out and the world has some beautiful things going on right now. So get out there and enjoy it. Get some fresh air, some exercise. I know it sounds cliche and it is, but it works. Um, my fourth, fifth, I lost count, is find a creative outlet. If the writing's not working for you, let it go for a little bit. Bake. Um, I said, make a coat rack on the blog, which everybody laughed at, but somebody would like a coat rack. Um, you know, if you like to work with your hands, garden, it might be a little early, but I was cleaning my garage 
as part of my social distancing, keeping myself busy. And I guess you could call it creative. It was organizing, right? And I found all these little pots we had bought. Um, I don't know what they are. I guess to start seeds in. I am not a gardener. And then I found all these packets of seeds. I don't know how old they are. I don't know if they're going to grow. But I thought this might be a nice thing. We'll plant all these. We'll put them in the window. We'll see if anything happens. But it's something to do with our hands to keep ourselves busy. And it's potential. It's a potential for new growth. And what can be wrong about that? Talk to friends. One of the first things I did when this all started was I started a couple of chat groups with some different groups of friends. And every morning we get up and we check in. Good morning. How's everybody feeling? Is everybody healthy? How? Just chat about nothing. You know, do you have enough toilet paper? Ha ha ha. Whatever it is. Talking to people helps. And talking nonsense really does help because it doesn't all have to be serious. And then my last piece of advice, my last tip, is just cut yourself a break. We are in tough times and everybody, what people are doing right now, how you're feeling, your anxiety levels, your lack of anxiety, it's all okay. And if you need a break to sit and read a book, I don't know about you, but I have a pretty substantial TBR pile and I'm really enjoying it right now. Um, listen to music, do some yoga, just give yourself a break. If you can't write right now, you can't write. And that is okay. If you need an extension on your deadline and your publisher has time to give you an extension, that is okay too. The last thing you need to be doing right now is beating yourself up about what you're not able to do or about the way you're feeling. This is a new experience for all of us. And it's scary situation. It's anxiety inducing and we all deserve to cut ourselves a little break. Whatever you do, take care of yourself, take care of your family, stay healthy and stay well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and follow us because we're going to be coming back. We're really going to try to do a number of these over this period of isolation because we know right now people need something to watch. And why not watch us?